Hey, how's it going everybody? Jeff with Cup the Camper. I'm on my uh, way to go and renew my America the Beautiful Pass and just thought I'd uh, talk a little bit about that uh, RV training course I'm going to be doing uh, for uh, level one uh, certified RV technician, uh, level one certified RV inspector and a level two certified RV inspector uh, down in Texas. Um, going uh, in, in just a couple of weeks, I'm loading up and, and heading down to Texas. It's down in um, it's down in Athens, Texas, is where the school is, and it's about uh, just a little over two weeks uh, for the class, and it's every day, um, seven days a week for two weeks and um, get to you know take the exams get certified while i'm down there and hopefully come back with uh, all three of the certifications that i need so i'm just going to get on the road and start heading up toward whiskey town uh, recreation area go to the visitor center there and they've got the america the, Be uh, america the beautiful passes uh, for sale so i'm going to go ahead and renew mine uh, it expires at the end of this month and that's just a couple days away. I gotta get that done before I head out. Let's go. All right, so in this first stage of training, which is the, uh, the RV maintenance training it's uh, basic RV maintenance and that's pretty much what it is it's all the basics and all the foundations that you need to start your career in uh, RV tech or if you're an RV owner and you want to do some basic repairs yourself so it's going to go over all the systems of the RV um, You've got um, the RV uh, inspector course kind of intertwined in this as well. So the level one and the RV basic maintenance is kind of one course. You're going to learn everything in that in that five day period, that first five days of hands on training. And you're going to cover all the systems like the electrical, so uh, your AC, your 12 volt, um, the chassis, electrical, uh, furnace, air conditioning, appliances, or so refrigeration, water heater, uh, the cooktop. Going to go over the propane systems, a little bit of exterior, so slide outs landing gear, uh, exterior components, and sidewalls, and roofing. So that's all in that first five-day course. And then there's an exam that you take on Friday. Uh, it covers all of the basics from you know bumper to bumper. You've got all the basic knowledge that you need for your level one certified technician test. So that course, that first five-day course is $1,782. Um, you have to become a member of the NRVIA, the National Recreational Vehicle Inspectors Association, to go on to the second week or to become a level one or level two certified RV inspector. So the, the fee for that membership is $499 for the first year, and then to renew every year after that is $299. For this particular course, they do offer a home study. So you can get the entire course on a thumb drive it has recordings of like the best recordings of all the classes uh, all the hands-on training classes and uh, the, the classroom sessions 
all on a thumb drive so you can study at home uh, even without an internet connection so that's pretty cool then you could schedule your test with um, uh, with the NRVA to get your certification to to pass that first week now if you want to do your if you want to do your level two your uh, level two RV inspectors certification you're gonna need to pre-register for the NRVIA test and study group the weekend before you take your class so if you if you're gonna take them back to back you need to take a Saturday study session and then the test the exam on Sunday and it's about a two-hour exam they've got uh, two hour windows throughout the day on Sunday so from I believe 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. you've got different uh, two-hour windows that you can take the test but you're gonna need to pre-register or apply um, to take the test and all that information's on the NRVIA website, but uh, I'll, I'll link all that information in the in the uh, video description below. But you're gonna have to do that before you go and do your first week, because it'll fill up quick, and you want to make sure that you've got your spot to take your test and for the study group the day before. All right, I just pulled into. Uh, the visitor center at uh, Whiskey Town. So I'm gonna run in real quick and, well, hopefully real quick and get my uh, America the Beautiful Pass. But uh, man, it's a beautiful day out here at the lake. Unfortunately, uh, if, if you guys haven't watched any of my videos in the past or if you haven't seen my uh, photography videos on this channel um, and hiking videos and things like that, this whole area burned last summer um, and uh, just devastated the entire park. It, this this park I, I believe 90% of the park burned and uh, it was just absolutely gorgeous lush beautiful pine forests and conifers and uh, some really cool oak groves down by the lake and it, it all burned it's um, heartbreaking I absolutely love this place I still love it and I know it'll come back but man it just just kills me to look out and see all the charred landscape so get out here real quick and I'll show you what's going on. So there's Shasta Bali up there. A lake all the way around. So down at the end is Oak Bottom Marina. And down that way in the center of the screen is uh, Brandy Creek. And it burned all the way around. Got it, America the Beautiful Pass for 2019 and the first four months of 2020. All right, so I think I left off at the um, at the end of the uh, inspector basic training, which is the the basic RV maintenance class. Uh, you take your test and uh, you end up with your level one certification, your level one tech certification, and your level one. Um, inspector certification so you'll get both of those with that one class um, you have to take the uh, standards of practice and code of ethics test um, it's the technical knowledge and skills exam and um, that is uh, right after the class ends on Friday um, the uh, 
advanced training, the uh, level two advanced inspector training is uh, $1,145. And uh, these, all these tuitions have to be paid before class starts. And um, you can take, like I'm doing, I'm taking these courses back to back. So uh, in order to do that, you have to do, you have to take that study group and the test over the weekend. So that's how you're able to do these courses back to back. Um, the uh, advanced inspector training for level two is um, uh, kind of a more in-depth training. You know, it's a lot of the, covers a lot of the same stuff that the first week, but more in-depth. Um, and then you're gonna perform uh, some inspections. You have to complete two inspections before you can uh, get your certification, before you can take your test. So um, you're also gonna learn some risk management and some uh, ethics. Um, you're also going to get some general business procedures education. Um, they've got some really good instructors there. Uh, one of the uh, guest speakers is uh, a CPA and also a lawyer for business law. And he's got a lot of really good information on the, um, you know, the, the business side of it. So uh, taxes and uh, protecting yourself uh, with an LLC, a limited liability company and things like that. The school is actually located uh, within an RV park. So the cool thing is you can bring your RV down there and stay right on site where the school is and actually use your RV to do some of the technical stuff, some of the hands-on training stuff. So um, the RV park is not included in the tuition. The RV park is uh, about $270 a week. Uh, if you want to do the two weeks, then you just book for, for a full two weeks. Um, so some other costs that you might incur uh, would be, well, you're, that you're going to incur would be for the exam. So uh, the exams are not included in the tuition. Uh, one of the exams is $250, and I think there's also a $150 fee uh, on top of that for uh, the Proctor U. And that is the uh, online testing for your certification and those those are the things that you'll do on that Sunday between the two courses um, and of, of course you have to pass that first exam before you can move on to the second week for level two inspector so my total costs for everything the courses the tests my fuel um, estimated food um, a little bit of spending money plus my America the Beautiful Pass for the side trips I'm going to be taking on the way down and back uh, is five thousand one hundred and seventy seven dollars that's everything start to finish uh, you're gonna come out with if you pass all the exams you're gonna come out with a level one certified RV technician you're gonna come out with a level one certified RV inspector you're going to come out with a level two certified RV inspector. Uh, you'll have all of those certifications uh, before you leave uh, the, the second week of the school. So I think that's uh, money well spent. There are just jobs everywhere available in the RV tech industry. So, so I think I covered everything here. If you guys have any questions uh, or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, I'll try to answer any questions that you might have. I'll also leave all the information for the NRVIA, the NRVTA, and uh, the RVIA um, links and their websites in the, in the video description below. And you can check out their websites. There's a ton of information. Uh, you can see, you know, maybe what, uh, you know, training is best for you and what schedule works for you. Um, they have classes throughout the year on different things, so just go through and, and browse to see what you might be interested in. Uh, hopefully I'll get uh, a few videos up uh, during my, uh, my trip. So if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. And uh, like always, I appreciate you guys watching the videos and uh, we'll catch you on the next one later.